Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ashim Adam. Today I'm going to talk about OCD or Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder features a pattern of unwanted thoughts and fears that lead you to the repetitive behavior. These obsessions and compulsions interfere with daily activities and cause significant stress. You may try to ignore or stop your obsessions, but that only increases your distress and anxiety. Ultimately, you feel driven to perform compulsive acts to try to ease your stress, despite efforts to ignore or get rid of bothersome thoughts or urges, they keep coming back. This leads to the more ritualistic behavior, the vicious cycle of OCD. OCD often centers around certain themes, for example, an excessive fear of getting contaminated by germs. To ease your contamination fears, you may compulsively wash your hands until they are sore and chapped. If you have OCD, you may be ashamed and embarrassed about the condition, but the treatment can be extremely effective. Symptoms Obsessive compulsive disorder usually includes both obsessions and compulsions. Both obsessions and compulsions are the result of OCD, but it's also possible to have only obsession symptoms or only compulsion symptoms. You may or may not realize that your obsessions and compulsions are excessive or unreasonable, but they take up a great deal of time and interfere with your daily routine and social school or work functioning. Obsession symptoms. OCD obsessions are repeated, persistent, and unwanted thoughts, urges, or images that are intrusive and cause distress or anxiety. You might try to ignore them or get rid of them by performing a compulsive behavior or ritual. These obsessions typically intrude when you are trying to think of or do other things. Obsessions often have themes to them such as Fear of contamination or dirt, doubling and having difficulty tolerating uncertainty, needing things orderly and symmetrical, aggressive or horrific thoughts about losing control and harming yourself or others, unwanted thoughts including aggression or sexual religious subjects. Examples of obsession signs and symptoms include Fear of being contaminated by touching objects others have touched. Doubts that you have locked the door or turned off the stove. Intense stress when objects aren't orderly or facing certain way. Images of driving your car into a crowd, cro crowd of people. Thoughts about shouting, obscenities or acting inappropriately in public unpleasant sexual images, avoidance of situations that can trigger obsession, such as shaking hands, compulsion symptoms. OCD compulsions are repetitive behavior that you feel driven to perform. These repetitive behaviors or mental acts are meant to reduce anxiety related to obsessions or prevent something, something bad from happening. However, engaging in the compulsions brings no pleasure and may offer only temporary relief from anxiety. You may make up rules or rituals to follow that help control your anxiety when you are having obsessive thoughts. These compulsions are excessive and often are not realistically related to the problem they are intended to fix. As with obsessions, compulsions typically have themes such as washing and cleaning, checking, counting, orderliness, following strict routine, demanding reassurance. Examples of compulsion signs and symptoms include hand washing until your skin becomes raw, checking doors repeatedly to make sure you are locked, checking the stuff repeatedly to make sure it's off, counting in certain patterns, silently repeating prayer, word or phrase, Arranging your canned goods to face the same way? Severity varies. OCD usually begins in teen or young adult years, 
but it can start in the childhood. Symptoms usually begin gradually and tend to vary in severity throughout life. The types of obsessions and compulsions you experience can also change over time. Symptoms generally worsen when you experience greater stress. OCD, usually considered a lifeline disorder, can have mild to moderate symptoms or to be so severe and time-consuming that it becomes extremely disabling and painful. When to see a doctor? There's a difference between being a perfectionist, someone who requires flawless results of performance, for example, having OCD. OCD thoughts aren't simply excessive worries about real problems in your life or liking to have the arranged ones in the same way. If your obsessions and compulsions are affecting your quality of life, you should uh, refer to doctor or mental health professional. Causes The cause of obsessive compulsive disorder isn't fully understood. Many theories include biology, OCD may be the result of changes in the body's own natural chemistry or brain functions. Genetics. OCD may have a genetic component, but specific genes have yet to be identified. Learning. Obsessive fears and compulsive behaviors can be learned from watching family members or gradually learned over time. Risk factors. Factors that may increase the risk of developing triggering obsessive compulsive disorder include family history. Having a parent or other family members with disorder can increase your risk of developing OCD. Stressful life events. If you have experienced traumatic or stressful events, your risk may increase. This reaction may, for some reason, trigger the intrusive thoughts, rituals, and emotional distress characteristic of OCD. Other mental health disorders. OCD may be related to the mental health disorders such as an anxiety disorder, depression, substance abuse, or uh, tick disorders. Complications. Now it's time to focus on complications. Problems resulting from obsessive disorder may include, among others, excessive time spent engaging in ritualistic behavior, health issues such as contact uh, dermatitis from frequent hand washing, difficulty attending work, school, or social activities, troubled relationship, overall poor quality of life, suicidal thoughts, and behavior. Prevention. There's no sure way to prevent obsessive compulsive disorder. However, getting treatment as soon as possible may prevent OCD from worsening or disrupting activities as your daily routine. Thank you very much for listening to this part of OCD. As I said, OCD is a painful uh, psychological state that can be um, somehow remedied by the help of the most up-to-date medications and counseling, especially uh, the medications for the balancing of the serotonin reuptake, uh, they have been proved to be highly functional in lowering the uh, symptoms of OCD, which is a painful uh, disorder. Thanks a million.